Okay, I got funny questions yesterday. Um, I'm glad you guys enjoyed the video that I did on organizing your desktop, but then I got a lot of questions that were actually about my desktop, which doesn't really have anything to do with genealogy, but I thought that was funny. So um, let's just look at it. So uh, what you're looking at, well, let's see. Okay, so these are movable, right? The folders that you can see are movable. These photos and stuff like that are not. Those, so everything that's not a folder is just an image. And um, you can buy desktop images. I got, I mean, this is sort of off of Etsy. I think I got the original image from Etsy and then I added stuff using Canva on top of it. And then, um, so this isn't what it looked like when I got it, but um, yeah, it's really inexpensive to just get a desktop image. If somebody was interested in getting some desktop images that are like family tree or genealogy themed, I could put something together, uh, send it out as a freebie maybe in the next email. Um, so there's that. And then the folder. So I'm on a Mac. Um, and I don't know if you can see these, uh, the ones that are down here that aren't labeled priority are blue. These are the folders that my computer creates naturally. Um, these folders are ones that I changed the image for, but it's really easy to do that. Uh, it's actually, so I have this, it's really kind of hard to see down here in this little tab, it's not a tab, this little like fake post-it, there's a folder down here called folder icons. And because it's this light color and whatever, it's very not noticeable, but it's there because if I need to make a new folder, I want it to match. This is where the folder pictures are. These are also things that I got, got off of Etsy. Um, for this particular theme, this is all of the folders that I could choose from. So let's say that I wanted to make one of my uh, folders that I'm working on rainbow. I would double click on this and it opens up like a preview image. And then I'm going to hit um, copy. Is that what I'm doing? <laughs> it looks weird because I'm in Zoom. Uh, I think that worked. And then uh, like, let's say I wanted to change this one. I'm going to uh, hit control and click on it. And then I'm going to do get info. It's going to open up this little like, I don't know, information box. Way up here, there's this little tiny picture of the folder. Do you see that? I'm going to sort of select it. And then I'm just going to hit paste. OK, that's my kid. Um, and see, it changed when I selected the little tiny thing and hit paste. It pasted that image that I had copied, and now the folder's rainbow. Um, and so now I have a different, a different folder color. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm only laughing because it's like I don't know if I'm. I don't know if the, I think that that's what people were asking was how to how to get your folders so that they were different colors and then how to make it look like this. Um, but it's not. It's smoke and mirrors, like. I don't have like a special desktop program or anything. It's just a big picture and then folders that are different colors. And I'm just putting the folders in different places in the picture. And it is a little annoying. I will say when I save things, it'll automatically start populating over on the side of the screen. If I save a bunch of stuff, then it starts to like jump around because if this picture wasn't here, which can I, let's see, okay. This is so I just tried to like drag this to the next thing and then it changes to I, I don't know why, but on Max, you can have like different visions of your desktop. So this is what my desktop would look like if I didn't have that picture behind it. So you can see that like without that little picture, it all of a sudden looks messy and chaotic. Um, but having it in these little boxes really helps me actually know like, OK, this is what I'm working on right now. And if I need to find something, then it's in one of these folders. I hope that helps. Um, I, I thought it was funny that you guys were interested in that. So then I was like a little paranoid that I'm not understanding what it was that you guys wanted me to show you. Um, but yeah, let me know and let me know if you're interested in me giving away folder icons and, um, and some desktop backgrounds. We can totally do that. We can all have matching computers for, uh, for the spring. <laughs>